Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you for tuning in. Today we're doing the recap. It's October 7th and I had a kind of a rough day here. Uphill battle for me trading CEI. It was a kind of a difficult one. Uh, so we'll get into it on that and show you why, uh, you know, had some problems with it. So anyways, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, let me know how you guys traded today down in the comments. If today was a green day for you or a red day. Uh, love hearing from you guys. So let me know. Um, yeah, so my watch list today, um, as far as what I was looking at trading for potentials, was really only CEI. There were a few other ones, but I just didn't like kind of the, some of the uh, formations and uh, any of the setups that were going on. M M R U S was one, NFE, uh, just a few other ones, but I, I just didn't take any trades on anything else. So uh, here's where I stand with this one, CEI. I'm down 109 bucks today. And I just felt like I was kind of on each trade kind of going in the wrong direction, really. I, uh, it was a little bit difficult to pick up the trend here. And so I want to point out of just a few things here. We have almost hit, look at this, uh, it's 900 58 million shares traded on this thing so this thing was had extreme amount of shares that were traded today so super super crowded so i should have you know um made that a more conscious note in my head you know trading this thing and and with that i was i was initially going for trades that i thought would be potential breakouts in certain areas and i felt like they weren't breaking out quick enough for me and so that was part of the reason is that this was such a highly traded um stock with that many shares going through so well i think what happened is that it wouldn't move as fast as i would want it to and um long story short i Started trading today much later in the day than I have in the past. Once again, getting used to the dad life. So I didn't even get into the market until I guess it was about, what, 12 Texas time? It's about noon. And that's right when I saw this thing kind of moving up and then it had its, its pullback here. So uh, I went in for, for some trades and initially they were small. So let me show you my progress on this. Um, and kind of show you how the battle went. I took a ton of trades on this. I took uh, 27 trades on this today. And it was just, I, I should have took, um, I should have took the message earlier that this just wasn't going to go, go the right, the right way for me. I just, I kept fighting it so much. So first trade of the gate's down 31 bucks. I uh, eventually hit a low of, if things weren't working, I actually, out for me for my first what two trades or two no 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 um first couple of trades yeah when i got into that eighth trade i did decided to flip and actually go short it was uh moving up here and i thought um i thought right in here kind of this area when we had this this pullback here i thought it might be kind of downhill for for the stock here and so I flipped short, and lo and behold, that went against me. It started moving up, and um, just had to cut the loss. So I'm glad I cut the loss. It was a hard one because it was a, a bigger amount. So at that point in the day, I was down 234 bucks, and was able to s slowly start trading myself out of that position, getting up to negative 81 bucks. And probably, you know, hindsight should have left it there for the trading day. But then I. I, I what you know, I wanted to <clears throat> go green on today and probably too much. So because of that, I uh, went back downhill, back down to two, uh, negative 256 and then back up to negative 109. I said, you know what, it's time to cut it. And unfortunately, my, um, <laughs> you know, total different excuse here, but my, uh, my cat is having some problems. Um, uh, and I had to take her to the vet and that was right around I think two o'clock my time or right before actually yeah, I was like 1 30 and yeah so I had to cut it short here and it was right on this this portion here but either way the stock was traded so much 
that the breakouts that I w were looking for weren't happening just because I felt like it was just overcrowded. We'd get up to kind of a resistance area like this area in here, uh, 170, let's call it 174, and we just couldn't break past it. It would go down and kind of almost barcode, you know, it went down a bit, but then it went sideways for a while. And you'd have to, the other um, mistake I think I was making today was that this was traded so much that I needed to be maybe more patient with the trades and realizing that with this stock, I'm not going to necessarily go for breakouts. I need to go more for um, going in and buying dips on certain areas because it does have strength, right? It moved up quite a bit today, up 100% or a little bit more than that. And, you know, we had this pull, this huge pullback area here and it consolidated. So I knew there was strength at some point for it to go potentially higher, uh, but it would have been just a better plan to try to buy up some of these lower areas and hold on to it and ride, ride it up and sell later. But for my strategy, I'm usually in and out quickly. And that was just not working out for this stock. I was chopped around a bunch. So that was kind of the moral of the story for today. It's the only thing I traded uh, down 109 bucks. So that's my recap for today. And I did want to update to you guys on a few other stocks. I'm kind of swinging some of the meme stocks. And I am still holding my AMC position. Uh, and I have been kind of dabbling with adding, picking up shares as we've been going through some of these dip areas. So you guys, uh, for those who've been watching the channel, know that I actually got in. I started buying up AMC um, much earlier when it was breaking out in this whole zone here. And, you know, we had the huge rip. And since then, another dip uh, back up, consolidation, and then this huge, um, you know, ride down so since then i've just kind of been slowly adding small amount of shares just like two shares at a time and just as it's continually falling just kind of buying it up so and once again this is not my typical day trade strategy this is just some of the swing trades i'm going for the meme stocks and um you know i, I think the these do have some serious potential it's just a matter of how long they'll take to potentially you know, go forth and break out. And, um, you know, I'm willing to hold for a while. I started with a small size and just have slowly been adding to that. So, uh, let's see, I'm currently at, um, uh, almost a $9,000 position with, um, um, I'm up to, what? 2,600 bucks on this stock and, um, average cost of 26. So kind of my plan here is I'm going to, you know, I'll hold out for a while on this thing. I don't mind holding for quite a while. But if we get, you know, a bigger dip and dip and dip and we start getting into, you know, the 30s, possibly that 26 zone, uh, you know, I might just have to sell for break even. And I don't mind doing that for the potential for it to possibly squeeze up big. So we'll see. Don't know what's in store for this thing. It might be a long hold um, or, you know, Hopefully, we can get some serious momentum on this and get a huge rip up. So that's my main one, AMC for meme stock. I have a few other ones. Cost is one of them. And I bought Cost because it's kind of a, a sympathy stock to um, GME and AMC. Cost has ran at the same time. And they're all kind of like sympathy plays, if you will. They all kind of like work off of each other sometimes. Not completely, but um, so anyways, I've, I've bought into costs, still holding that one. And Sundial is another one. This is, a, I believe it's a cannabis stock, SNDL. And uh, we had a pretty big move today on Sundial after hours. But uh, once again, this is just, uh, I'm not in massive size on some of these. So... It's more of just to, you know, kind of do some swing trades for the meme stock. So that's where I'm sitting with that. I hope you guys had an excellent, excellent day. And that's really it for me. We got tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to try to get green. Let's look at the calendar real quick. Down 109 for today. Calendar. 
not sitting very well. I'm up 151 bucks on the month so far. We've got tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get green. Just put some green. I, you know, I don't want to shoot shoot for the stars here. I'm just wanna, you know, put on. I don't know. Whatever's workable, whether it's 200, 200 bucks. Um, you know, if we get stocks that are really moving, maybe more than that. But if if the market seems kind of slow on small caps, I'm, I'm probably just gonna um, try to call it quits earlier and go take care of some other stuff. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.